Okay, well, my parts came in the mail today, and so we are ready to move forward with our build. And I'll show you what I was waiting on. I had some of these type of terminal strips, but I wanted some of these. And I like this style for certain things because it has that lower set of holes. And I'll show you why we're going to be using them in this part of the build. And also this hole here is larger and this part of this tab is bigger because we're going to be putting them over these larger screws here. And to make them fit, as you see it didn't quite go on there. I get a Dremel tool and make this hole just a little bigger. Be careful if you try to do it with a drill bit because it'll snag. This whole thing will spin and break the little tab out of the center. Learn that from experience so you don't have to make that mistake. So, and now it fits right over this hole here. Actually, it's going to go on in this direction. At a little bit of an angle because if I go over here it'll short out so I'm going to put it in an angle about like this and then to what we're going to be mounting over there is a couple of these 47 UF capacitors and let me zoom in here you can see how I bent the leads so that when I put it over it fits like that and so then I can put another one right next to it like this and they can be two of them right next to each other. So then this will be in here like this and we're going to run the B plus from over here to each end of this strip then there'll be a resistor that goes from here to this lug where the capacitor is. The center will be ground. This will be the filtered DC that'll go to the driver plate with the voltage slightly stepped down. And this little strip here is what's called the decoupling capacitors that you have on the plates of the driver section of the tubes. So we'll have two capacitors, two resistors, the B plus will come over here, jump across, and then we're going to run a ground wire from the center of this over to the star ground over here. So let's move over here and look at this little area right in here, which is where we're going to have the, the B plus filtering. So we're going to take another one of these and it's going to sit right here and on this we're going to put let me go ahead and zoom in here so you can see that better where this is going to be sitting so it's going to sit right in here and we're going to get a the Dremel tool cutoff wheel and we're going to cut it off right here and we're going to only use these four lugs. So on this end, we're going to have this 133 UF capacitor. And again, we'll bend the leads over so it moves it over a little like this. And then we've got this big monster guy. This big monster guy is going to sit like that. So we'll have the 30, the 33 UF here and the 220 UF here. And this is going to be our, this is going to be our main ground point. I'm going to come in here with a Dremel and grind off this powder coating so that this gets a really good ground here. The other little trick I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second ground point. And I'm going to do that by taking a pair of uh, jeweler's pliers like this and first bending this over about like that 
Maybe just a little more. And then we're going to find the other end of this. And bend up something that looks like that. This is going to sit in there like that. And it's going to have a gap like this so that we don't have the ground near the B+. Plus. And then when we solder this in, this is a piece of uh, solid, I think it's 14 gauge Romex. Um, it'll connect this ground lug and also make this a ground lug. And the reason we want to do that, again, we're going to cut this lug off so we just have these four. And then this one down here on the end is going to be an extra star ground point. So like this will be jumped across to this one. And then this is going to be our B plus, and this is going to be where our diodes hook up to, from the transformer. That way when we're doing some of this other work over here with these auxiliary ground points, they can be brought over and soldered to that fourth pin. These wires from the speaker jacks can be soldered to that fourth pin. There'll be a ground point on each one of these that'll come over and get soldered to that fourth pin. So it gives us a point for us to collect all the grounds and connect them over here at the power supply. So we're going to get all of this wired up and then come back and we're going to test the B plus and make sure it's working.